Our area first responders are in it to win it. The 7th annual Topeka Battle of the Badges blood drive is coming up next week. Topeka Police Captain Colleen Stewart and Topeka Fire Marshal Alan Stahl are here with details. Team Police, Team Fire, we are going to go and do battle, as we like to say. But it's a friendly competition, right? Absolutely. You bet. Always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> and you're smiling. So yes, we know it's a friendly competition because you guys often work together. What is the Battle of the Badges, Captain Stewart? So this is our seventh annual Battle of the Badges, and it's all about the American Red Cross uh, wanting to uh, increase our blood supply in our local area. You know, we're always at a critical level, and we're all actually just an emergency away from needing some of that critical um, blood uh, to, to assist us in our recoveries. So this is a little sibling rivalry, if we will, <laughs> between police and fire to encourage people to come and donate blood. And they get to vote for either law enforcement or the fire department. Who's the big sister and who's the bratty little brother in this? Oh, yeah, bratty. right. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And this is perfect timing because you've noted uh, Fire Marshal Stahl that Al that, that May, <laughs> Alan, no, uh, <laughs> May is Trauma Awareness Month. Absolutely. So the whole month of May, we are, you know, asking that people be aware of trauma, whether that be, you know, getting into a car accident, getting injured at home. And oftentimes major traumas require blood. Um, and so we're really asking people to come out and donate to, so we could increase that supply of blood. And really the fact of the matter is you can't just wait when the need is there. It's there, right? You can't just suddenly say, oh, we don't have blood for you kind of yet and, and stop it. Because what kind of incidents do you see in your line of work, Captain Stewart, that, that necessitate? blood supply being there when it's needed. It can be virtually anything from a car accident to uh, an aggravated battery or shooting, you know, that type of thing. So, and anything in between. And what about your line of work? And so a lot of medical related emergencies will also require blood. So if somebody's having a heart surgery or if they're a hip replaced or a knee replacement, any type of major surgery can require multiple units of blood. What kind of goal do you guys have for the blood drive this year? As much as humanly possible, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> as many people that want to come in. No, I think they have actually set the goal at 62 units. So, so we're looking at, at at least 62 units uh, to make the goal. And one way that people can do that, I don't know if, if everyone knows, but there is a, a possibility for power red donations, mm -hmm. which means that they can make one donation, but it counts as two units of blood to help people out there. Anything special that, that's needed for that, or do they need to just make the appointment in advance? Uh, they, it, it is encouraged to make their appointment in advance, but there is a, a different uh, blood types that are better for power red. So I believe it's A negative, B negative, and if you're O, whether it's negative or positive, perfect for power red. Probably is a good reminder to people that you really should know your blood type. You should. Absolutely. And how easy is it to give blood? It's very easy to give blood. So anybody in the, it can just about do it. They've actually expanded that eligibility. Um, go to redcrossblood.org and you can look at the new expanded um, eligibility guidelines. Um, and you can also sign up to give blood at our Battle of the Badges. Are you going to let people do walk-ins if the space is available? Yes, absolutely. We'll do walk-ins and we'll be ready for them on the 22nd. Okay, what does the winner get? Police or fire? What are you going to make the other side do to pay up if they don't get it? It's usually pride, not <laughs> prize. So, um, you know, of course there's a cup, uh, a Battle of the Badges cup, and, and we put that plaque on there and, and the, that chief gets to keep that for the year who the, just outside their office. Who currently has it? It currently resides with the police department. I see. Yes. But in the end, we know it's really the community that, that wins the battle right. every single year. Absolutely. And you said this is the seventh year for this it? This is the seventh year. Yes. Remind us of the, the day, the time, the location. So that will be Monday, um, the 22nd at the uh, Topeka Law Enforcement Center. And that is from nine to three. 9 to 3. And if you would like to sign up, redcrossblood.org slash give. Enter the code TOPEKA, and that is where you will find the Battle of the Badges blood drive. As, as Captain Stewart mentioned, they will take walk-ins if they are able to, although if all the slots fill up, then you either may be waiting a while or, but under that, you can also search other blood drives in Topeka because I, I think another good point to make here is that blood doesn't just like sit there and be good forever. That's right. why we, we constantly need to replenish the supply, correct? That's absolutely correct. And you can definitely look at other local uh, drives that are going on and whatever fits your schedule best. We're heading into the summer months. Why does it make it even more vital? It makes it more vital because people get busy. Mm -hmm. And so our donations actually go down in the summertime. So we're, we're hoping that this is, encourages people to come in. It's a little fun, you know, voting for either police or fire. 
and we hope to see people there. And also summer brings a whole new realm of incidents that you all respond to as well, correct? Absolutely, summer gets people outdoors. We start to do those fun activities and that of course leads to mm -hmm. more accidents around the house um, and then out doing things in the community as well. We have the Battle of the Badges Blood Drive May 22nd and that as we will be heading into Memorial Day weekend right after that. So we'll get that supply up in time for the holiday around here and then just kind of make that appointment, right? Make it a regular yes. thing and make it a habit. Captain Stewart, Fire Marshal Stahl, thank you both for being here and we will follow the Battle of the Badges to see who wins. <laughs> Thank and you. where that trophy goes. <laughs> Thank you both. Appreciate it. Well, you can take a jog to help a local school. Those details are coming up next.